All right, so we're here with the Bonavita BV 1900TS. It is the eight cup one touch coffee maker featuring Fermocroft stainless steel one touch brew operation with auto off carafe lid filter basket and shower head are dishwasher safe powerful and precise 1500 watt heater maintains optimal brewing temperature of 195 degrees to 205 degrees fahrenheit 91 or 90 91 to 96 degrees celsius optimal pre-infusion mode wets freshly roasted ground coffee to allow degassing before brewing flat bottom filter basket and shower head allow for even better saturation and uniform extraction durable stainless steel thermal craft double wall stainless steel thermal craft all plastic is bpa free length 12.40 inches width 6.80 inches height 12.20 inches Hello, I wanted to start off with the good news. My cheap coffee maker, the Mr. Coffee 5 Cup Brewer, broke. The reason this is good news is because it pushed me into buying this. The Bonavita BV 1900TS 8 cup 1 touch coffee maker featuring Fermacraft stainless steel. The bad news is I have to scrap the video I was working on for that other coffee maker. I have been eyeing this strip coffee maker for a while and when my $17 coffee maker from my college days broke, I knew I had to make the choice to buy another one just like it. It was okay or get a best value coffee maker, which met the standards of the golden cup set by the Specialty Coffee Association. When I first received this, I thought I got a unit from another region since I think it was French on the side, but turning it around, I saw English. It seems it was meant for North America because of the English and French on the side of the box, but it could be because of the unification of the Specialty Coffee Association of America and the Specialty Coffee Association of Europe since January 2017 leading to slight incorporation. This wasn't the only drip coffee maker Bonavita offered, the Bonavita BV 1900TS. It also had the 5 cup brewer, which wasn't standardized for the golden cup, but many stated it made a good cup of coffee. A small side note, the reason it isn't certified is because the SCA, Specialty Coffee Association, doesn't certify brewers under 32 ounces. One might think it says 5 cups at 8 fluid ounces per cup, which should be 40 fluid ounces, and thus over 32 ounces. Bonavita doesn't use a standard cup being 8 fluid ounces. Instead, their cups are 5 fluid ounces each, which means their 5 cup brewers are 25 fluid ounces, or 3 standard 8 fluid ounce cup, and 1 fluid ounce left over. This means their 8 cup brewers are 40 fluid ounces, or 5 standard 8 fluid ounce cups. This 1 cup equals 5 fluid ounces is on the side of the unit pictured on Amazon, but not on the unit I bought. The units that also state this have the Bonavita colors in black as opposed to the light gray white color of the font on the unit I bought. Bonavita also had the Connoisseur 8 cup 1 touch coffee maker featuring hanging filter basket and Fermocraft BV 1901 TS, which seemed like the updated BV 1900 TS, also standardized to the Golden Cup. This was considered, but eventually I decided to go for the original and start where everyone else started. I think I made the right call. Even if the price is lower at the moment, and the connoisseur is even lower than the lowered price of the current price of the Bonavita 1900 on Amazon, a uh, sign note the prices at other stores online or brick and mortar are higher than the Amazon price. No, no surprise there, but it is surprising just by how much this time, and as some are even at $200, almost double what I paid for on Amazon. This might change for the better or worse, uh, only time will tell. Maybe I'll compare the other versions if I ever get them. I even confused the hanging filter basket of the Connoisseur BV1901TS with the non-hanging filter basket of the BV1900TS the unit I bought. The Bonavita BV 1900TS is a solid purchase. It gets the temperature right and the pouring from the shower head goes in a spiral fashion, resembling the pour over coffee technique, but without time taken out of your morning routine doing this, yet having the same top quality consistency on each cup day after day. Overall, much better. And I don't have to sweat if my pour over technique was good one morning or not. First I weighed my beans, then realized I couldn't get the upper end of the gram, 72 grams, for their 8 cups. So I split it up. Side note, the 72 grams of coffee grounds for 40 fluid ounces or their 8 cups was around the golden ratio. It came out to be 73 grams in a few decimal places on the actual conversion. Uh, because I couldn't get all the beans into my blade grinder, I ended up with some coffee grounds on my desk. And it's the reason I have weighed out beans in mason jar for a while anyway. Uh, side note, uh, those beans came out acidic. It could be because of oxidation or just that batch. Since those beans were cheap, 
so inconsistent in size and roast. Before I had a scale, I looked up the density values of coffee beans and coffee grounds and converted from weight grams to volume, tablespoons and teaspoons. They were average values, but the margin of error would be less since the grounds were denser, doing the conversion was a way to reduce the excess of good coffee beans, which would otherwise be wasted. Uh, one example was maybe five tablespoons of beans doesn't equal five tablespoons of ground as you end up with more than five tablespoons when you grind those five tablespoons of coffee beans and since they oxidize by the next time you make coffee they really would go to waste second i put the coffee filter on the coffee basket then pour the coffee grounds into it i used to pre-rinse paper filters when i started with pour over coffee but here i don't pre-rinse and i also prefer for the cafe stole to stick to the coffee filters uh, third i placed the filter basket on the stainless steel carafe and place both on the Bonavita. Afterwards, I held the bottom for five seconds for pre-infusion. It blinked, then pressed it one more time for it to start. As long as the machine is plugged in, it'll stay with the pre-infusion on, but I always unplug it and bring it back to my desk. So every time I plug it in, I press it for five seconds to enable pre-infusion. Blinks, then I press it again, so the machine will begin making coffee. A few minutes later, the surge protector kicked in and shut everything off. So I went into the kitchen and I finished the brew there. I thought it was strange that something without a ground could cause the surge protector to come on. I turned it on again to continue and thought the machine would keep on going for a set time. But once the water ran out, it turned itself off. Brilliant. It's absolutely fantastic. The coffee is amazing. I brewed a full 8 cups, which is 40 fluid ounces or 5 standard 8 fluid ounce cup, with the pre-infusion mode on always. The taste was really close to the good cups of coffee I've had, only very mildly acidic or bitter, much better than the chain coffee places. If I were to use better beans, which I am working up to, I'm sure it'll be fantastic, even more so. It was very mildly acidic or better, much better than the chain of coffee places, along with other flavors, depending on the beans being used. As I will work up to using much better beans, it'll be much better mild, that way I can have it exceed some of the really good cups I've had in the past. It was so good, I couldn't wait till six hours passed to pour myself another cup. The first cup was also only the coffee. No cream, milk, or sugar was added. It smells like good coffee. better. It kind of tastes like that really good coffee that I tasted when I was out in the Midwest in a diner. It's actually very close to that. But so far it's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's really good. 
Maybe didn't use color as much as the same beans. The next cup I poured over ice as when the coffee does cool down a bit it does lose some flavor. So I decided to have it iced and decided to add a bit of soy milk to it. Afterwards I kept wanting to finish the rest of the brew but I put it away and continued with my day. I drank half of the total coffee brewed and the uh, rest was used for iced coffee the next day. When having it iced it tasted like iced coffee from some of the chain coffee places. This was still very good and considering how hot it's been lately, it was perfect. I've been enjoying the coffee this makes so much, I don't think I'll ever go back to buying coffee from the chain stores again. The way I've been going about drinking coffee has been to brew the initial full 8 cups, otherwise 5 standard cups, drink it fresh hot, and save the rest for later. Usually it lasts for 2 days, then I have to make more. My reasoning for this is to use the most of each coffee filter, as I don't want to use a filter for anything less than the amount it was made for. Saving half also makes it easier for the next day. It's nice to wake up and have pro-made iced coffee in the fridge. The part that you can't really save is the last bit in the carafe. You can try to shake and dance with it all you want, but it won't pour. I'm assuming whatever compounds had settled were unfavorable in taste. If not, it's not a big deal. The rest of the coffee is strong enough where you won't miss the bit that's left in the carafe. At times, it's even hard to finish the cup you've poured yourself because of the strength of the coffee. Then you taste it and easily finish it. Clean the carafe was a bit hard since the opening is small. I'm glad I didn't buy their 5 cup brewer as it might have been harder to clean. It was a bit hard but doable. The difficulty is slightly less than cleaning a thermos. The lid is just regular hand wash. Cleaning the filter mask was easy. Just grab the handle and toss out the filter with coffee ground. You don't need to touch the paper filter or anything. It's so easy. The rest where the carafe sits, just wipe it down with a damp paper towel since the filter basket leaks when taking it off the carafe and so does the shower head, assuming you take out the carafe as soon as it's done brewing. At the same time I was contemplating buying the Bonavita BV 1900TS, I was also exploring alternative. One, cold brew. I was going to have cold brew for the summer, but it just didn't hit the same. The compounds extracted with the golden cup standard just hits the same each time. With cold brew I could have made a concentrate and it still wouldn't have the same coffee mind stimulating effect. It would be smooth and have a good taste to it, but it just fell short for the normal coffee buzz, even with more cups than I'd usually have. Another alternative I was also having before making this purchase was tea. I switch from coffee to tea every now and then since college. While I like the beta brain waves that result from coffee, leaving you with a hustle and bustle mindset, I was also curious about the attentive yet calm alpha brain waves that result from tea and meditation. Not to mention the greater varieties of tea, some with exotic colors. So cold brew was also another alternative for the summer, and regular hot brew tea for the other seasons. Tea is the world's second most popular beverage. Side note, iced coffee or iced tea isn't the same as cold brew. When they're iced, they're brewed hot, then placed in the fridge. With cold brew, the coffee grinds or tea are placed in water and left in the fridge for around 8 to 12 hours, then filtered out. There is no hot water involved in cold brews. The reason I bring this up is because when I quickly tried to find some ratios for cold brews, there were many incorrect articles that confused iced coffee and cold brew. Same goes for tea. Even though I occasionally switch from coffee to tea, I still like coffee. And with this coffee maker, I know coffee will still be my go-to for many years to come. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again for another video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope this new microphone makes a difference, as well as maybe having some post-production to it. Anyway, I hope you've liked this video, and again, I want to thank you for watching, and I really hope you comment and subscribe, and we can have a discussion on coffee. I know we've barely touched the tip of the iceberg with coffee, and it is something I really would like to make more videos on. And maybe subscribe so I can get around to make more of these, as right now it's they're just kind of whenever I try to get myself to make them and hopefully it can hopefully you like that and hopefully you show that you like them thank you thank you and I'll try to upload soon I hope I'm gonna this microphone is motivation to really upload all right thank, thank, thank you I should probably wrap it up before uh, with all this heat thank you thank you so again uh, really good good start good solid start um I'm really not regretting uh, I guess if I could call it an investment in this, because this co this coffee is really, really good. It is really good. Now it's just a matter of getting consistent beans and maybe a burr grinder. Um, and maybe I'll get the grinder maybe in about a year or so. Uh, 
just because of, I mean, I, when I woke up, I kind of didn't even want to make coffee. Um, actually, that's not true. I kind of just didn't want to film it because, well, I have to get everything, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not as good as point and shoot yet. All right, so I'm going to wait until mid-noon, so maybe four hours and, uh, or maybe even um, since it's in four hours and the coffee has left like six hours. If I start to get groggy by maybe two o'clock. Um, all right, so it's eight o'clock now. By two o'clock, it'll be six hours. And from that, if I'm starting to get a little bit groggy, maybe, you know, maybe it's like that. Maybe half of it's half life has gone off. Maybe then that's when I'll um, want this. Though I have noticed that you feel a little bit less. You should want it's fresh beans because of the... Maybe some of the other compounds that haven't oxidized do help you not feel the uh, caffeine crash as badly. All right, very good. Um, and I'll see the, and maybe in the next part. I'm so unsure if I'm splitting this into parts or just having one full video. But either way, I'll see you in the next one.